everybody, News Now Wyoming here, uh, bringing you another episode. Today we are going to talk about jury selection and jury duty and why, uh, some, some of the things I've been reading online. So I have been trying to watch as much of this Chauvin case as possible because I think the legal issues are strong. I, I, I am very biased in one way, of course against the government, against the... Uh, well, here you've got the government and you've got the police officers, so that's two evils. Which one do you support less? I'm going to back the government's case against the police officer. So, uh, so yes, I am a very biased person, which again takes me to the subject of this. I've been reading online a lot of people saying, listen to these juries, jurors' answers. They're trying to do the best they can to get excused. You know, uh, that's probably true for a lot of them. Why would they do that, though? Why would they not want to be on this jury? Is this jury a big deal? Yes, it is. This verdict is big. So what they do is going to affect the burning of a city. We know that if he is found not guilty, there are going to be protests across the country that will most likely not be peaceful protests. There will be fires like we've seen. There will be just continued protests. So to sit on that jury could be very intimidating, couldn't it? Imagine you're one of those 12. And although you feel one way or the other about this case, you look at the evidence that the prosecution is actually able to bring in. That's actually what a lot of this hinges on, isn't it? What can they bring in? What can they discuss? And what are the legal decisions we have to make? So, intimidation, uh, being scared, that would be one reason you wouldn't. Another, four weeks. And I don't know the, how much they get paid here for uh, sitting on a jury. Here in Wyoming, I believe it's $40. No, federal court, it's $40 a day. I know that. I don't know about uh, state court. But federal court here in Wyoming is $40 a day is what you get paid. And your boss doesn't have to give you paid time off. They just have to give you time off that cannot be used against you. So for me, at $40 a day, I would lose a lot of money. And so for a month, for me to lose, uh, let's, let's just do this math really quick, because I didn't actually think of this. Uh, 40 times, uh, let's say 20 days in a month that they would be in trial. Eight hundred dollars. Plus, they get a free lunch. Okay, let's actually uh, let's just change that for the sake of argument to twenty-four. Nine hundred and sixty. So, I would be taking a massive pay cut. One fifth pay cut to sit on a jury for four weeks. That seems fair. That sounds like something I want to do. Uh, plus, does anybody really believe that they're not going to be able to, or that they're going to be able to keep the jurors' names from being released? The press may not release it, but they're going to be all over Reddit. So yes, being doxxed while you are sitting on this jury, if you come to the wrong conclusion and wrong depending on who you think of, I can understand why you wouldn't want to sit on this jury. And again, let's talk about bias. I can't sit on any jury. If it is a civil case, I could not sit on it because... It would be hard for me to put my knowledge of lawsuits and the law 
uh, and all of that. It would be hard for me to set that aside. And I wouldn't claim that I could. A lot of these jurors you see, they keep saying, I'll try. Honestly, I can't. I wouldn't be able to. Then if the case involved a police officer, say this was a criminal case involving a regular person. Uh, somebody was caught by police uh, in a DUI. My bias against the police would go well beyond that case. Because I would be asking, did he, they have probable cause to pull him over? I'd be asking a million questions in addition to the, what is presented to me at trial. So I wouldn't be able to be partial or impartial. I would be extremely partial against the officer, what believing the officer. And uh, really, I think it, if I were called to jury, which I haven't actually been called to jury duty since I was 19 years old, and I'll talk about that here in a second, but if I were called, I do believe I could easily get out just by saying I've got a YouTube channel that I do nothing besides criticize police and analyze lawsuits against the police. That would be a for cause, so they wouldn't even have to use one of their peremptory challenges. It would be very easy for me to say, yes, I'm very anti-police, you do not want me. And I would, if I were in front of this jury, uh, if I were called for jury duty, Again, ignoring every other reason not to, I would be very open and honest about that. Because otherwise it would be perjury if they found out. I could be held in uh, contempt if I lied about it. And they found out about it. So I, I, I would. I would be extremely open and honest about it. But at the same time, I just, I know it would suck. So, uh... Yeah. So when I was 19 years old, I was in the military station down in Texas. And I was sent a letter, or my mom's house here in Wyoming was sent a letter saying, hey, you've been called for jury duty. And this happened twice. The first time I called them up and said, hey, I'm stationed down in Texas. They said, okay, here, we'll, we'll write you off. About four months later, I got another one saying, hey, you've been called to jury duty. So I called them up and said, or, uh... Yeah, I called them up, and I said something along the lines of, again, you guys, this is 20 years ago, so these are not quotes, okay? These are not my quotes. I cannot remember 20 years ago of a conversation. But I told them something along the lines of, once again, I am stationed in Texas. And that clerk decided to take it to a full level. Again, I was stationed in Texas because I was part of the military. So the first thing she said to me is, being in the military does not excuse you from jury duty. You still have to come to jury duty. And we require this of all of our citizens, so that way they are doing their duty for their country by serving on a jury. I am serving in the military, stationed across the country from my family, but from anybody I know, Willing to go to war, yet I'm not serving my country enough. Okay, um, but she told me I'm not going to excuse you. You are going to have to be here in a month. So I went to my first shirt and I told him, "Hey, here's here's the letter. Here's the conversation I had last night with uh, this court uh, this court clerk. What do we do?" And so he wrote a very glowing letter that I wish I had a copy of. To this day, I lost it in my 20 years of moves. But in it, he said, we will be happy to release uh, release him to serve on your jury. However, there are some conditions here. First, you will have to pay his airfare because I am. Uh, we are not going to make him drive for 18 hours to get home to serve on this jury. So you will be providing his airfare. You will be providing his hotel at your expense for him to stay during the duration of this jury duty. You will be paying for the three meals a day. This is my first shirt saying this. 
you'll be uh, paying for his three meals a day. And then he went on to describe the actual conversation I had with the court clerk. And, um, but he set out a lot of different conditions about me being able to serve on this jury. And then him and me were both emailed. I do remember that. It came back in an email. A uh, email saying from the judge himself, not the clerk, saying, we apologize for the miscommunication. We will be removing me from any future jury duty. Now, I've been, that was 20 years ago. I have voted for every election since then. I have up kept my up addresses up to date, of course. Uh, I have al always kept everything up to date. And in that 20 years, after that one incident, I have yet to be called in front of any state court, or federal for that matter, but federal is a lot more rare anyway. So, I don't know, maybe I'm immune. Maybe I've been taken off the jury rules, but even if I got called for jury duty, I have no doubt they would have no choice but to dismiss me. What do you guys think? What, uh, what do you think of jury duty? Would you be able to survive uh, voir dire and be seated on this jury or any jury similar to it? Or would your opinions get in your way like they would for me? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Have a great night. Thank you.